the lucky bud. This is the lucky bud. Once there was a poor man. He lived with his wife and seven daughters. Wow, he have a lot of daughters. The poor man earned money by cutting and selling firewood. He made barely enough money to buy food for his large family. So he's very poor. He can't make a lot of money. One day while he was cutting wood, the poor man became very tired. So he took a nap. As he slept, a lucky bird in a tree saw how poor he was and felt sad. The lucky bird flew down to the poor man and laid a golden egg on his bundle of wood. So this is the golden egg. The man woke up and found the egg. He looked at the egg and then decided to take it to a shopkeeper. The shopkeeper knew the egg was worth a lot of money. He knew that this egg was very expensive. But he cheated the poor man, giving him only one small coin for the golden egg. So this shopkeeper is very bad. Bring me the bird that laid this egg and I will give you even more money, said the greedy shopkeeper. Oh dear. The next day, the poor man went back to the place in the jungle where he rested. The lucky bird flew by again and was surprised to see that the man was still so poor. Perhaps my egg rolled off the bundle of wood so he didn't see it, thought the lucky bird. As she flew down to lay another egg, the man leaped up and grabbed her. Oh dear. Please don't hurt me. Take one of my magic feathers if you must and then let me go, cried the lucky bird. Hold my feather to the fire and you will be taken to my homeland. There you will find treasure and money. So the lucky bird told the man to just take one of, one of its feather and hold it to the fire. Then he will be brought to the bird's homeland where there's treasure and money. But did the, did the man listen? Did the man listen? But the poor man did not listen. He stuffed the lucky bird into his bag. There was no air in the bag and so the lucky bird died. Oh no, now I cannot sell her, said the man. I will go to the lucky bird's homeland and tell her parents that she has died. Perhaps they will reward me for being honest. So it's the man is holding a feather to the fire now so that he will be brought to the lucky bird's homeland. When the lucky bird's parents saw that she had died, they wept. They are very sad. Just then, a strange bird flew by. It's a strange bird. I can bring her back to life, he caught down to them. The strange bird took some leaves and placed them in the lucky bird's beak. Like magic, she opened her eyes and came back to life. Wow. When the lucky bird saw the poor man, she became angry. I tried to help you, but you were too foolish. That means you were too silly. Now you will stay a poor man forever. The poor man blinked his eyes and was back where he lived. He never saw the lucky bird again. So now the poor man is poor forever. The end.